coming up is this week's community event with host Jagruti Shah. This is Jagruti covering India Current Silver Jubilee celebration at San Pedro Theatre and it's a proud moment for all Indo-Americans. The celebrations are on on 8th, 9th and 10th and I'm here with my camera person Poonam Bajaj covering some glimpses and achievements of India Currents. Silver Jubilee is a very important uh, mark in anybody's life and especially when it's a print media it's a reason to celebrate and the lady behind this Silver Jubilee is with me her name is Vandana Kumar. Vandana welcome to Sitare TV. Thank you. How did you make it is my question. You know, we are a community publication and one of the things that I've realized is if the community is behind you, you and you have a great idea, then there's nowhere to go but up. <laughs> when we started, we had no idea we were going to be around for 25 years, you know. Our magazine of India Currents was an idea. It was the fact that it transformed into a business uh, to me is, you know, phenomenal. And uh, we've been, uh, even though through all these downturns and everything, the fact that we've survived uh, and celebrating 25, 25th anniversary, I think is testament to the support that our idea got from the community. Mr. Bharti Sarthi, welcome to Satara TV. Thank you so much. Sir, the print media is under um, always a grey shade now with internet and everything coming on. And India is one country where we print media is as popular as what it was because it's still our tradition of having a newspaper in the morning with a cup of tea yeah. and that's how we visualize our home life. Exactly. How do you see Americans visualizing this and especially since you're a consulate general, what do you think, how do Indians perceive here and how do you Indian perceive in, back in India? Indians are the same everywhere. Even here, early in the morning, I get my normal printed version of the daily, and then I start my day. Similarly, I think most of the Indians, digital media is there. Like earlier, they said computers have come, so many things will change and everything will go away. It didn't. Likewise, I think print media has its own importance, and that will keep doing it, and that will complement the visual media. That's how it's going to be. And uh, particularly today, I want to add, it's a special day be not only because of this 25th anniversary, but they are doing a great uh, drama by Natak, okay. which is a very responsible organization, which focuses on uh, important issues. Yeah. And also at the same time, I think uh, Narika is associated with this, which is yet another very important association, which is uh, involved in social issues and helping the people out. I think that's a great thing that's happening today. What an um, uh, occasion today, print media, India-based, celebrating Silver Jubilee. What are your comments? Amazing. What a great milestone. And um, I think it is a true reflection of how far the Indian community has come to. And I think the magazine reflects everything that we've done, our journey as a community. And I think in, in some ways, it's a celebration of India Currents. It's a celebration of the Indian American community in the Bay Area and um, the amazing journey that we've had as a community. Today, as I said, uh, India Currents is celebrating 25th year of the publication, but this is not a coincidence. This is a real surprise when I came to know that another two people who are handsome boys standing next to me are associated with India Currents. They were born along with India Currents and they are very much kids of Vandana. I have Tushar and Vishal, they are twins and they have celebrated their 25th birthday just recently. You must have seen this magazine growing uh, from the time you were born and it has reached here. What are the memories you want to share with us when your mom or your family were looking after India Current as a print media? Um, well, it's just been interesting to see the magazine grow from a black and white eight-page magazine uh, to a full-blown, you know, almost 200-page color, you know, glossy front, all this stuff. Um, and it's, it was just cool to see, see that happen over the last 25 years. Yeah, one of my er earliest memories of the magazine was uh, when they had started it, it was in my, out of my uncle's house. And it was walking distance from our home, so sometimes after school we would go there and jump around the employees and get to know everyone and it's cool to see it now progress to uh, it's, in, it's in an office it's touching I think 40,000 plus readers I don't don't quote me on that number <laughs> um, but it's uh, no it's just cool to see it have such a such an effect on the community out here and Vidya Pradhan uh, who has been part of India Currents on regular basis Vidya welcome to Sitare TV thank you thank you very much 
when you're a part of an uh, event and when it achieves such a big success, I know it's a proud moment. Absolutely. How do you feel about it? I feel so proud. In fact, uh, the concept of this particular event actually came about last year when I was still the editor of India Currents. So I, I'm very proud to see how beautifully they've executed it. It's really lovely to see and I wish India Currents all the very best. Where do you see it going? Oh, I think places because uh, we've really just taken a step into the social media world and uh, it really, um, I can see the leaps and bounds that the magazine has taken over the last year where we've really uh, broadened into our, our, our reach by way of the new media that's going to attract a lot more, a newer generation to the magazine. So I think it's going to go places. It's, it's a sterling magazine with great quality and the more people know about it, the better. I wish India Currents the very, very best and maybe I hope to see them at the 50th anniversary. Thank you. Chief Nema and I have the whole crew uh, and they are going to perform a drama which is called as Death in San Francisco. I am yet to see and it seems there is some secret behind it. So by the time I finish the interview, I will try to get the secret. But let's uh, speak to Rajiv. Rajiv, you are performing in India Currents um, today which is celebrating Silver Jubilee. You have been performing otherwise also and you guys have been doing pretty well. How it is different for performing for India Currents? Well, it's very exciting. India Currents bring a whole... Uh, whole bunch of uh, new viewers for us. We have been around in the Bay Area for 16, 17 years, but like you said, we are uh, Bay Area's best kept secret. So uh, India Current, Sitare TV gives a uh, gives lot of visibility to our work and we really appreciate your support. To introduce to cast and Sure, sure. So, so starting with me, I'm playing uh, younger okay. brother of the deceased. Okay. Uh, and here is uh, Abhay uh, Paranjpe. Hi, I'm playing the role of Pandit who does the cremation puja on Naveen Chandra Gupta mm -hmm. and during the course of the play they stop taking me seriously as the play goes along. So yes. that's the funny part. And he's a modern Bay Area Pandit uh, <laughs> who works as a, during daytime he works at pro one of the IT companies and nighttime he it does the moonlights Pandita. as a Pandit. Yeah. Oh, wow. <laughs> Here is Monica Chitkara, she is a long time uh, Natak actress. And Monica, you want to say what are you doing in the show? Uh, I'm playing Mrs. Shukla. She is one person who's very worried mm -hmm. and concerned about everybody's well-being in the play. Oh, so. okay. <laughs> okay. Uh, I'm Mukund Marathe. I'm playing the role of Mahesh ji, who is uh, a long-time friend of the dead man, a uh, friend of 35 years, and he is also a self-appointed leader of this entire Hindu cremation ceremony. I'm Phil Wiseman. I play the, uh, the lawyer, the executor to the will of the okay. dead man. My name is Mike Ford. I play the AC man and I'm, um, I'm just there to interrupt and uh, I'm sort of the comic relief. You know, when things are going rough, I just pop my head in and bug everybody, which I'm pretty good at in real life. So. Hi, I'm Arnav Gautam. I play Ajay, the son of the deceased. So in the play, I'm the only one who seems to be truly sad for, this, for the, my loss. So. I'm Ravindran. Mm -hmm. I play the role of Shukla in the play. Uh -huh. Shuk they, they asked me if you want to play a role of Maji and I wanted to try it and I tried it. It's amazing. And Manasa. Manasa and what are um, I play Reno in the play. I'm mm. uh, a family friend in the play. I'm trying to help the family um, through this project of Hindu cremation. Okay. And the next beautiful lady. Uh, hi, I'm uh, Vinata Karra and I play the deceased's wife, Usha. That's my role in the play. Um, I know every one of this whom I spoke are working full time. Most of them Most working of them. and then doing this drama. And it's an amazing job what you do. Um, what is that you want our listeners or Bay Area people when they are watching you to do for you so that you get visibility across the country for your work? Come and watch our plays and tell your friends about our place and come and support us in production work <laughs> and come and support us in come and participate in our place it's a proud moment for sitare tv to cover india current celebration what a moment for a print media to celebrate 25 years we wish them all the very best i hope they connect with every indian person here in bay area and indian american community once again chagruti from sitare tv signing off from san pedro theater